St. Benjamin Church. <laughs> Johnson's told me what you intend. As it happens, the man who held me is the same one that you seek. His name is Silas Thatcher. That fancy lad is our slaver. Don't let his velvet tongue deceive you. A crueler and more vicious creature I've never known. What can you tell me of his operation? He hosts at least a hundred men, more than half of whom are redcoats. All this for some slaves? <laughs> Hardly. The man's a commander in the king's troop, in charge of the Southgate Fort. We need to find a way inside. Hmm, let me think on it. In the meantime, I'll attend to our final recruit. John Pitcairn's our man. I'll take you to him. Also, have a good look at uh, Charles, Leaf, uh, Charles Lee's face right now. How young he looks, because at the end of the game, uh, he just will look completely evil and disgusting. It's, a, it's actually really good the way they, they actually were able to change him. Uh, how he aged. But uh, yeah, so I know that sounds weird, but let's start our mission. State your business. New recruit. More kindling for the pyre, eh? Well, go on then. How'd you manage that? Did you forget, sir? My commission is with General Braddock. When I'm not attending to you, of course. <laughs> I think he's up there. You fool! You're acts a treacherous. Give me one good reason. I shouldn't kill you right now. <laughs> This guy's nasty. Cut off someone's cock, that's just wrong. Were you planning to announce yourself? Or did you hope my men Sir, wouldn't notice your if arrival? If you'll allow me to explain. Ho <laughs> oh, ho! Oh, by all means. I should like very much to hear this. I have not deserted, sir. I am here under Commander Amherst's orders. Show me a letter bearing his seal, and you might be spared the gallows. I have no such thing. The nature of my work, sir, it's... It's the sort of thing best not put to paper. Hey, them. General Braddock? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Wolves often travel in packs. Master Pitcairn won't be here for but a few weeks. I shall return him to his proper post once our work is finished. The devil's work, no doubt. It's bad enough my superiors have insisted. I grant you use of Charles. But they said nothing about this traitor. You'll not have him. Edward, listen to reason. We're done here. See these gentlemen out. <laughs> well, that didn't go as I expected. And to think I used to call him brother. What now? They'll chase us off if we try and return. We're done with this camp. As luck would have it, so are they. Come along. Um, what are you planning? To steal Master Pitcairn. What? You'll see. Now, when I give the signal, you're to distract Braddock's patrol and lure them into a dead end. We're gonna steal him. <laughs> Kidnap. <laughs> Where shall we head next? Perhaps down Marlborough? No. Its residents are too content. Their homes are nice, their days untroubled. What of Lynn or Ship Street? Yes. Those fresh arrived are often soon in dire straits. They're more. Uh, why can't we go? <laughs> that was random. You 
Go on. <laughs> See, even Lee's in front of us. Um, that guy who's being chewed out by that guy we're following, uh, John Pitcan, uh, he, the Scottish guy, he actually uh, was a real character in real life. He was originally on the English side, but when the revolution break fr uh, broke free, American Revolution, should I say, uh, broke free, he turned uh, and became a general in the Continental Army, which was the American uh, side of the army. So he was originally on the English side, and then he turned to the Americans. Quite weird. Ah, look at this. Uh, weird. Now, Huh. Oi! You thieves and scoundrels, one and all! Fire on you and your false war! Oh. You better run, mate. After him! <laughs> That's brilliant. That is just completely brilliant. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to ambush these guys now. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Unhand him, Edward. Uh, you again. Let us go. And John Pitcairn with us. I will not have my authority challenged. Nor I. Put them all in chains. <laughs> Good luck with that, mate. <laughs> this is a cluster fuck. <laughs> Ooh, bloody hell. Oh. Huh. Hear my sight, clear as day. How did you just survive a pistol to the face? I mean, like, I'd be on the ground probably half dead at this point, if not dead. Huh. Huh. Alright, there we go. Oh, hello. Stay my hand today because you were once my brother and a better man than this. Or should our paths ever cross again, all debts will be forgotten. You're free now, John. Traitor! Go on then. Join them on their fool's errand. And when you find yourself lying, I assume well, you've good reason for causing all this madness. What is it you require of me? I'll explain everything on the way. Alright then, so. Huh. Interesting. Can we go in here? Huh. I think we have to wait for the mission to finish, you guys, so. Huh. Can we go on upstairs here? I love that Celtic uh, style violin, old fashioned music, it's nice. <laughs> Infiltrating South Gate. Gentlemen, I believe I found the solution to our problem. Or rather, Odysseus has. How do you? Are you a new guy? The Greek hero, you lobcock. <laughs> Allow me to explain. <laughs> we enter Silas Fort under the pretext of kinship. Once inside, we spring our trap, free the captives, and kill the slaver. <laughs> dodgy, dodgy. I like it. Then, let us begin. First, we need to find ourselves a convoy. 